Hey, wait a minute, Albert Einstein. How did you get up here? And how are you able to breathe? I have discovered how to travel through the time-space continuum. I can be anywhere in the universe at any time. I'm too awesome and good-looking to still need to breathe. I see. Well, I'm Neil Armstrong, now officially the first man on the moon. I hate to break it to you, but I got here ten minutes ago. Sorry, bro. Damn you, Einstein. You always have to be the one in the limelight. Well, I suppose now that I have you here, I could ask you a few questions. That is until my oxygen runs out. Sure, I'll see if I can help. I am conducting an experiment in which I monitor the lives of a set of astronauts who have been sent into space. Do you know how to work out an empirical estimate of the distribution function using observations from the investigation? I know of several ways of obtaining an estimate of a distribution from a set of observations. Tell me more about the data you are using. I am using a set of sensor data, in which I am unsure of the times of death of some of the astronauts and some of the lives were still alive when the experiment ended, meaning they were right censored. I see. Due to this incomplete data, I think a suitable estimate to use is the nelson Allen estimate, which is an alternative non-parametric method for calculating the empirical distribution function f of t, and is also based on non-informative censoring. Okay. So how would I go about using this estimate then Mr. Smarty Pants? You will need to determine the integrated hazard rate function, which is defined as the sum of all the lambda j's. You're going to have to dump this down a bit for me Albert, we're not all geniuses. Okay, the sum of all the lambda j's is simply the sum of the dj's divided by nj's. That is, the sum of the number of astronauts who died at each time tj, divided by the number of lives alive and at risk at time tj that could die in the future. This is the integrated hazard function, which is notated by a capital lambda. Right, I'm with you so far. Once I have this hazard function, how I can I work out an estimate of the distribution? We can now work out the survival function f of t, which is the exponential of minus the hazard function. The distribution function is then simply 1 minus this survival function. Oh, I understand. So the nelson Allen estimator expresses the hazard at each distinct time of death tj as the ratio of the number of deaths to the number exposed. The cumulative hazard up to time t is simply the sum of the hazards at all death times up to t, and is the expected number of deaths in time t per unit at risk. Precisely. You're not as thick as you look Armstrong. Watch it Einstein. Oh and another thing, is it possible to determine the variance of the estimate? Yes, a value for the variance can be determined using the Greenwood estimate. It is the sum of dj upon nj minus dj, divided by nj cubed. Great, now I can compare my results between different populations and experiments. Thanks for your help Einstein, do you want a lift home? No thanks. I think I'll just time travel back by myself. Goodbye. They're taking off without me. Wait up, Buzz.